it is Keandra again and I'm just coming on here because there's been a lot going on um, these last few days and it is extremely overwhelming and I want to come in front of you guys and just really touch on a few things because as I'm scrolling through my news feed on Instagram and Facebook I'm just seeing so many messages so many comments so many posts of people feeling extremely overwhelmed people feeling sad people feeling depressed people worried people concerned about their husband and father and sons and daughters and all of those things are really really tough to deal with and they're really tough to deal with because what we're all experiencing right now is actually secondary trauma and I know a lot of people have never really heard of that concept and that's why I wanted to bring it to you guys today because what secondary trauma is is basically the stress that someone experiences after being exposed to a traumatic event so in light of all the things that have been happening the last few days all of the deaths that have happened on both sides we're actually experiencing the stress that comes along with it and that's why so many people are worried and concerned and feeling hopeless um, and that has really really affected the lives of so many people out there and so it's hard sometimes to really deal with these situations and circumstances because there's really no rule book on how to um, deal how to cope what to do what to say when events like this happen in our world and as a clinician of course and as a therapist you know I'm here to help you guys work through some of those things and learn some of the positive coping skills that you guys can use to manage during these tough times but what you guys have to realize too that it starts up here so you do you do not and I repeat you do not have to continuously expose yourself to these videos I repeat, you do not have to continuously expose yourself to these videos. In fact, I would encourage you to unplug, not because you don't care about the issues, not because you don't want to be aware, not because of anything like that, but because of self-care. You have to take care of yourself first. And it's hard. I had to really do the same thing as well because... Um, I had to get off Facebook and Instagram because it was just overwhelming for me seeing the pictures I actually seen the video um, of Alton unintentionally scrolling through my newsfeed on Instagram and really those thoughts and seeing him laying there they really stuck they stay stuck in my head for a while after that and so being a clinician being someone who knows how to cope who knows um, what to do in regards to mental health issues I figured if I was going through something like this as an african-american female you guys were experiencing some of the same things too and it's evident by the things that you guys are posting so at this point I really want you guys to really just focus on change and not just trying to change the world on a grand scale which will be utterly amazing but at the same time change starts with you change starts with you at home change starts with you and your family in your household and so before we try to change the world on a huge large scale let's work on ourselves because at the root of it all we're still all human we still all bleed red and you know what what we all need is a heart check and we need to get back to the basics and I'm not here to preach to you and I'm not here to tell you what you should and should not do but I want you guys to be encouraged I want you guys to be aware of these symptoms and the things that you guys are experiencing because it's affecting a lot of people and I don't want to just sit up here and tell you to go seek therapy and seek counseling um, just because I'm a therapist but at the same time if you know that these events are really messing up your day-to-day -day functioning and I mean really impairing your functioning you're having a hard time getting out of bed you're having a hard time going to work going to school taking care of your kids you're overly concerned about the safety of um, your loved ones and trust me there is a level of safety and awareness that you should have I'm not don't get me wrong I'm not saying that but if it's impairing your daily functioning then you have to seek help you guys you have to seek help and truthfully everybody's watching everybody's watching to see how we're going to react everybody's watching to see how we're going to respond and let's switch the game up let's switch the game up let's be strategic about our course of action let's be strategic so i hope all is going well i know it's trying times i just pray that you guys will reach out to someone if you need to reach out and talk to someone um but at this time i think that we're all going through a lot and I wanted to come on here and recognize that because I've been very very silent 
um, the last few days, but only because I was just taking everything in. So I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you learned something. Um, secondary trauma is real. It's real. I see it all day, every day. So get the help when help is needed. And I pray that our world is a better place. I pray that our world is a better place. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a blessed day.